Welcome sa Zipline.com. Uh, in this video, ito tuloy natin ang ating series on solving motion problems. No? And in this uh, video, I particularly i-discuss natin yung uh, objects traveling in the same direction. So let's uh, read our problem. A uh, car A left Math City going to English City at an average speed of 40 km per hour. Two hours later, car B traveling 6 km per hour leaves the same place for English City. In how many hours will car B overtake car A. So one of the strategies in solving this type of problem is to actually uh, create a list or table. No? And uh, yun yung strategy na gagamitin natin. No? So we have car A. No? And then we have car B. No? And then we have sa taas yung number of hours. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7. Hindi natin alam ano, kung kailan niya ma-overtake. No? So, unang-unang uh, titignan natin sa problem na una yung car A, no? na umalis. No? Tapos mas mabagal siya. Yung kanyang speed is 40 km per hour. No? And yung car B naman, 60 km per hour. No? So, of course, kung mabagal yung car A, nauna siya, and then mas mabilis yung car B, pangalawa, definitely, uh, kung constant yung speed nila, no? yung average speed, uh, eventually, ma, ma overtake siya nung mas mabilis na car, no? kahit nauna siya, di ba? So, since 40 km per hour siya, ang speed niya sa un after 1 hour is, sorry, Ang distance na matatravel niya after 1 hour is 40, no? Sorry, pero masyado atang malalapit yung ating numbers. So, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours, 6 hours, 7 hours. Sana hindi naman siya abot ng, ano, ng, ng, ng sobra pa sa 7. So, 40 kilometers per hour. So, after 1 hour, 40 na yung travel yung, ng, ng car A. And then, after 2 hours, 80 na, syempre. And then, after 3 hours, 120. No? So, mag a lang tayo ng 40 dito, no? 160. This is 200, 240. And 280, no? And then, after 2 hours. So, sa unang, sa unang oras natin, wala pang, wala pang na-travel yung car B, no? Kasi... After 2 hours pa siya eh. After 2 hours, sa pangalawang oras, wala pa din. Dito na siya mag-start, no? After 2 hours, dito pa lang siya, siya mag-start, mag-travel. So, on the third hour, ilan na na-travel niya? 60, no? And then, after ng fourth hour, this is uh, 120, no? after ng fifth hour, 180, and of course, six hour two forty three hundred. No, Tama? okay. So, kung mapapansin niyo dito sa um, dito sa sixth hour, no, nagpareho silang two hundred forty. Ano ibig sabihin nun pag nagpareho sila? Pareho na yung distance na nata travel sila nila, and since they are they are um, moving on the same direction in the same direction at this particular point in time after ng 6 hours ma-overtake ma na nung car car A or ng car B yung car A but kung titignan natin yung questions in how many hours will car B overtake car A no? ibig sabihin ang point of uh, reference natin is yung car B so how many hours from car B this is 1 hour 2 hour uh, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours. So, after next start ng car B, after 4 hours na nagda-drive yung driver ng car B, sa kanya ma-overtake yung car A. So, the answer to this question is actually 4 hours. No? So, 6 hours siya pag sa uh, point of view ng car A. Pero yung tinatama natin, how many hours will car B overtake car A? So, nandun siya sa um, point of view ng Carby. Okay? So, 
Pwede rin natin gamitan ng algebra ito, no? So, again, pwede natin car A and then car B, no? And sa, kung, kung napanood nyo yung mga previous videos natin, di ba pag ganito mga problems, meron tayong distance, meron tayong rate, at meron tayong time, no? And we know that the formula for distance equals RT, no? Or distance is equal to the product of the rate and the time. So, ang rate natin dito, ang rate is the speed, right? So, ang car A, ang rate niya is 40, 40 kilometers per hour. And then, yung um, rate ng car B is 60 kilometers per hour. At yung time, kung mapapansin ninyo, mas mahaba yung time, syempre, ng car A, no? Mas malaki siya ng dalawang oras, no? Kasi mas ahead siya ng 2 hours. So, kung nakapag-travel na ng 6 hours ang car A, 4 pa lang yung B, no? So, kung X yung yung B, mas malaki ng 2, no? Yung car A, mas malaki ng 2 hours. No? And we know that distance equals rate times time. So, distance is the product of these two expressions. So, distance is 40 times X plus 2 and distance is 60X, no car B. Now, ano nang gagawin natin dito sa mga expressions na ito? Tignan natin, ano? In how many hours will car B overtake car A? So, pag you are traveling in the same direction, no? This is car A, this is car B. Kailan ba ma-overtake ng car A yung, ng car B yung car A? The time na maging same, same distance na sila from the starting point, di ba? Nauna si car A, sumunod si car B, at Kung mag-overtake, kung ma-overtake na ng car A ang car B, meaning at this particular point in time, pareho na sila on this point, no? And of course, after this particular point here, or particular time here, mauna na yung car B kasi mas mabilis siya. So, ibig sabihin, the distance traveled by car A, which is this one, no? Must be the same as the distance traveled by car B at a particular time. Eh? So, distance traveled by A no, must be equal to the distance traveled by B. No? Traveled. Lagyan na lang natin para baka malito kayo. Traveled by B. No? So, what is the distance traveled by A? This is 40 times x plus 2 equals ano distance traveled by B? 60x. So, 40x, the redistributive property, 40x, 40 times x is 40x, plus 40 times 2 is 80, and then equals 60x. Okay? So, uh, subtracting 40x from both sides, we have 80 equals uh, 20x. No? Kasi minus 40x minus 40x. So, mawawala na to 80 na lang magtira sa left-hand side. And then, 60x minus 40x is 20x. So, 80 over 20 no? is equal to x. So, therefore, from here. So, 20 divided by, uh, 80 divided by 20 is 4, diba? So, x equals 4. Ibig sabihin, 4 hours. Which is the same as our answer here. No? So, 4 hours, after 4 hours, ma-overtake ng car B yung car A because they have, at 4 hours, they have the same distance travel. Okay? So, maraming salamat and I hope na intindihan nyo ating tutorial. Ano? Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.